January 19th and 20th, Saturday and Sunday, the sun is in Capricorn. It's about to enter Aquarius any minute. So it's 29 degrees. It's fully Capricorn. It'll be zero degrees of Aquarius, and that will be on the cusp. You've all heard about that term, the cusp. It's when there's two signs, but it only happens one day a month when there really is an entrance in the very beginning at zero degrees. It only lasts for about 24 hours, and then it moves to one degree. So yes, the sun is in Capricorn at the moment on the Saturday, and the next day, Sunday, it'll be zero degrees Aquarius. The moon is in Cancer. So the sun being in Capricorn with the moon in Cancer starts off being an incredible gift of having practicality with sensitivity. That combination is one of my most favorites. Someone who's grounded Capricorn, gets things done, always goal-oriented, nothing matters more than getting up the mountain, but the moon in Cancer goes, hold on a minute, check in with everyone. How are we all doing? How are you feeling? Can I bring you anything? Are you hungry? So that combination, it's an opposition between the desire to be goal-oriented at all costs, coupled with the sensitivity of the moon in Cancer, makes this yummy feeling. Now, there is this crazy thing that's going on, and then Mars is still in Aries. So what do we know? When there's two planets opposite and a third planet 90 degree, here comes the capital T, T-square, Mars in Aries is like, I have physical energy and nothing matters more than me expending it, and don't you dare limit me. And Capricorn goes, excuse me, we have rules to follow. And Cancer goes, yeah, yeah, you're hurting my feelings. I don't want you to get too excited. Aries goes, oh, shut up. That is so dumb. And Capricorn goes, excuse me. We have etiquette and we have rules. And then Cancer goes, can I help you, little Aries? You seem like you're impulsive. That's a good conversation that can go on in someone if it's coordinated. If those three people got along, a business person with a sensitivity, with a get up and go, but if they're not coordinated, and that's what happens in astrology, when there's dynamics, T squares particularly, T stands for tension, the personality inside themselves is wrestling. And we all know that inside of our own selves. Some part of you wants to do this, some part of you wants to do that, and that's why you come learn astrology and the school's about to start. You learn astrology to figure out how you can manage the impulses on your team of inner voices to be coordinated by who? By your aware ego that's sitting in the middle of the circle. And that's why we study. So Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, here we are in the middle of January, dead of winter, that it's really important to be able to learn. This is so Capricorn. There's four planets in Capricorn. The Sun, Mercury, Pluto, and Saturn. Sun, Mercury, Pluto, and Saturn are all in Capricorn. If a baby were born, they would say to you, you should study astrology, Mom. Because if you learn astrology and you're a parent, can you imagine how different it would be if your mom and dad understood you? I'm just giving you a million reasons why to come study with me. Astrology Answers said, Deb, tell them during this wonderful, almost full moon, you might want to consider how you can help the people you love best with astrology nearby.